It's very common for people who offer one-to-one -one services, teaching, coaching, consulting, that kind of thing, to be very successful on a one-to-one -one basis, but then kind of get ambitious, start to leverage their time by offering group coaching, but then run into all kinds of problems because numbers start to drop and they can't maintain the numbers in their group coaching programs. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get around that so you can very comfortably run group sessions, um, make the most of your time, leverage your time, uh, and do it all without the stress and the hassle of seeing dwindling numbers. That's what we're gonna get into today. My name is Ollie Richards. I'm the founder of storylearning.com, a multi seven figure um, language education business. I also write a free newsletter for uh, online business owners and entrepreneurs at ollierichards.co. And I, I've, I initially saw this dynamic happening quite a lot in my days as um, in, in the language world, because you'd get language teachers who would make a living doing one-to-one -one teaching uh, and then start to run group classes. Now, sometimes what would happen is they'd even fill their group classes, hire another teacher to come on and deliver more group classes. But then what would happen is, you know, students would start to drop off it would be you know, a real slog to replace those students in the groups and they would still have the salary of these teachers to pay and it's a really uncomfortable dynamic and it can make it so that you know, life becomes kind of miserable when you're worried about um, you know, making payroll, you're having to slog away, like just to maintain, not even to grow, but just to maintain numbers. I saw this happening a lot and then when I um, kind of met more people in the wider business world, I realized that a lot of coaches and consultants have exactly the same problem. And so this is the dynamic, it starts, um, people can do, you know, you can do, you can make a very, very good living um, doing one-to-one -one work, especially if you're in a, in, in a, in a sort of B2B space, uh, if you know how to market yourself properly, leverage your, your value, sell to the right people. You can, it's very, very uh, easy to make a, a great living doing one-to-one. -one. But what happens is you, you get FOMO, right? You look around and you see people offering all these group sessions and you think, well, hang on a sec, I'm spending all my time, I'm trading my time for money as if that was some kind of big evil. Um, but I could get away from that if I could um, offer, so the same amount of time that I spend here, but instead of uh, serving one person, I get to have like five people in a group or something like that. So you start the group lessons, but then of course what happens is numbers start to drop off because that's just what happens over time. You get churn in groups, just like you do in uh, software subscriptions or whatever. And so what's happening is you're having to continue to sell not to grow the thing, but just to keep numbers where they originally were. And that's a very stressful dynamic. Uh, this is why I'm not, not the, the world's biggest fan of, of, of membership sites and things like that, because the psychological battle of maintaining numbers can be really tough. So how do you get around that? So what happens is as a one-to-one uh, -one service provider, uh, you can find individuals in your audience, you can, you can serve them, you can work with them one-to-one -one and make a really good living, right? Um, and so let's say you then decided to add a group session to that, a, a group uh, component to that. All right, well, you can add in, like, so let's say a group and this, and this takes up this fraction of your, this is your total audience, right? So this is now your, your audience is being used to fill your group program. Now, when numbers start to drop off, you need to sell more people into that group program, but the problem is you run up against the hard limit of your audience. Your, your audience is, so, is only so big, and that's the core of the problem, right? Your problem is an audience problem, and if you don't have an audience big enough, you're not gonna be able to continue to sell people into these group programs. And so what we need to do instead is make it so that you can sell that group program, but your audience is now much bigger, so that as the, as the numbers drop off, you've then got a a whole bunch of other people here who you can then bring into the group program as well. So it's the audience that's key. So generally what people do is they go straight from one-to-one -one directly into group. But as we've seen, you're constrained by the size of your audience. So what you need to do is add something else. It's an in-between step. It's not that going from one-to-one -to, -one to group is wrong. It's that it's happening in the wrong order. So what do we need to do here, instead of going from one-to-one um, -to, -one to group, what do we need to put in here? Well, what we put in the middle is digital products. And this is essentially how I built my main business, uh, storylearning.com. So I started off as a language teacher, teaching one-to-one. -one. Then when I started working online, I could work with higher paying clients. 
Um, but then rather than offering group lessons, I started building my digital product business and that created a huge audience for myself so that actually I never needed, I never, I never bothered to go to group sessions and uh, to group classes at all because the digital products and that side of the business was uh, was doing so well. And so it looks, at, this is the order, the sequencing, right? So one-to-one -to, -one to digital products to group coaching. So why does this work? It works because when you go to digital products, um, you have very high profit margins, all right? It's pure net free cash flow. So what? So you've got your audience enough to sell one-to-one. -one. You then offer that same audience digital products. That kicks off cash. And then what you can do with that cash is you invest it into um, ads to grow your audience. It doesn't have to be ads. You can invest it into content or other ways. But the most direct way is to say, right, I'm launching these digital products. I'm collecting the cash. I am um, I'm using that cash then to run ads, to grow my audience. And then with that larger audience, you can fill your group coaching much more easily. Now you can get, this This whole section here of running ads is a, is, a, is a big conversation, but once you've got the digital products, what that also allows you to do is to include those digital products in your ad funnels, which liquidates the cost of running the ads in the first place. So having created these digital assets here, you're, if you do it well, you should be able to run ads um, at least at break even, so that the kind of net effect of that is that you're growing your audience for free. That's how I always run all my all my ad projects. Even if it's break even, it, if it grows my audience, then that's the most important thing because then you've got the foundation of um, of, of a business. And so that's it. Move from one to one to digital product to group coaching. Do it in that order, and you'll have a much better time with it. Um, wherever you are in your in your business journey, um, you, you may offer this, you, you may not, but I think it really helps to understand the idea of uh, of what to do in what order, because none of us are lacking for information, right? As Derek Sivers says, if, if, if information was the problem, we'd all be billionaires with six packs. Um, I can attest to the fact that's not true, uh, but the more, the, but so not the information, but it's the kind of wisdom and the experience that tells you how to do this in, in, in a different order and it gets you uh, a lot further. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the channel. You might also like to head over to ollieridges.co uh, where you can download my free case study. It's 117 pages, Anatomy of a $10 million online education business where there is a lot more like all of this.